Good evening, everyone. We have midfielder Justin Hack here in the post-match press conference. If you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hand. Um, we'll get started with John Luba. Thanks, Esteban. Uh, Justin, talk about uh, making your first start tonight and also how you were able to deal with the, the heat the way you guys were able to, to come out of this game with a victory. Yeah, first, it just feels great to get my first start. I'm very grateful for Nick giving me the opportunity and even more happy that we came away with three points. And going into the game with the Heat, we knew that we could play beautiful football for the first half, maybe parts of the second, but it was always going to be a grind. And the team, everybody worked extremely hard. The wingers and our forward players ran probably more than they ever have before. And that all helped the team get the three points today. Oliver? Thank you. Um, I'm wondering um, how much uh, playing in MLS Next Pro has um, helped uh, prepare you for for the role of stepping in as a starter in the middle of the season. Yeah, it definitely helps playing the same system and the coaches. It helps me get this opportunity, but of course, the the games are much more physical and faster once you get to this level. So it will still take a little bit time to get there. Christian Penich. Hi, Justin. Congratulations on the first start and the victory. Um, Hebert scored the only goal tonight. Can you put to words just what he brings to this team and, and what you've seen of him as you've been in the first team yourself? Yeah, me and Ever are actually very close. He's one of my, a good friend of mine. And every time that he scores, you know, everybody is so happy for him, especially what he's been through the past in the past year with his injury. And now it seems like every time he's on the field, he finds a way to get the goal. So that really, it makes everybody on the team happy for him. Trey? Uh, hey, Justin, congratulations on your first start. Uh, you had a few words with uh, Jesus Ferreira in that first half a few times. I'm wondering if you could enlighten us with some of that conversation you had with him. No, it was more just uh, joking around. There was like one time Tiago put one ball away and took a different one. I just told him that the ball was flat. And then in the second half, the, the ref was like pushing him away. And we were just joking around a little bit. Michael and Uh Justin, uh, you kind of referenced uh, the mindset going into the game that with the heat, you weren't going to be able to play uh, the way you wanted to for the full game. On the field, does that does the heat hit you immediately, or is it something that you you can handle? At what point do you really start to feel the, the the effects? Yeah, I mean, honestly, as soon as you step outside, you can feel the heat here. But once you're in the game, I think it becomes a little bit easier because you get a you're more focused on what's going on. But then, towards the end of the match, of course, you're pushing yourself as much as you can to get through the game. Last one, Chris Campbell. Hey, just in the first 10, 12 minutes, the, uh, the team had some trouble kind of building out of the back and, and really getting out of its own third. Um, was there an adjustment you guys made in order to kind of help improve that? Um, or, or was it more just getting settled into the new formation? Yeah, I think the big thing about that is uh, just the three in the back because we didn't have too much time to train because we just had the game versus New England. So we only really had one full session together as a whole team to work on it. So it just took a little bit of time to get the rhythm. But once we figured it out, I think it worked very well and we were able to play straight through them. Great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Travel safe.